Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll walk you through the payment module of our property management system where all tenant payments, receipts, and balances are managed in one place. You'll see how easily you can record payments, track outstanding dues, and generate real-time reports. Whether you are handling rent collections or service charges, this module will make your property finance workflow fast, accurate, and fully digital. Let's get started. The PM underscore payment table stores all tenant payment transactions within the property management system. Each record represents one payment against a bill or agreement, including details like mode, currency, and reference numbers. Payment underscore no system generated unique numeric ID, primary key. Payment underscore ID readable payment code, example, pay 001. Agreement underscore no links to the tenant's rental agreement. Bill underscore no references the related bill, nullable for advance payments. Customer underscore no references the tenant or customer making the payment. Payment underscore date date when the payment was received. Payment underscore mode mode of payment, cash, bank, check, online. Payment underscore ref underscore no check or transaction reference number. Currency payment currency code. Exchange underscore rate applicable exchange rate for multi-currency payments. Payment underscore amount actual paid amount. Status current payment status, example, pending, confirmed, cancelled. Remarks optional remarks or comments. SS underscore creator SS underscore modifier user tracking fields. SS underscore created underscore on SS underscore modified underscore on audit timestamps. This trigger auto generates a sequential payment ID like pay 001, pay 002, etc. before inserting a new record. It finds the highest existing ID, adds one, and assigns it to the new payment automatically. Now I will create a form for the payment module. First, I will create a blank page. Now I will create the form. Here you are creating a new payment form in Oracle Apex using the PM underscore payment table as the data source. The page name is new payment. I'll add a button on page 21 that redirects to page 22 to open the new payment form. The form has opened, now I need to set it up and make it more user-friendly. I will hide the payment ID field since it's already auto-generated by the trigger.
The agreement no field is currently a select list. I'll change it to a pop-up love so the user can easily search and select an agreement. I will hide the bill no field since it's not needed during manual payment entry. I will move the customer no field to the top and add a condition in the agreement no pop-up so that it only shows agreements related to the selected customer. Here, I will have to write the raw SQL code for the query. Here you are inside the query builder of the list of values. You are selecting columns from the PM underscore agar underscore MST table and will click return after preparing the SQL. This will insert the query into your log. Here, you've added a WHERE condition so that the agreements are filtered by the selected customer NO P22 underscore customer underscore NO. Now the agreement pop-up will only show records related to that specific customer. Now you can see that no agreement appears until a customer is selected and as soon as I select a customer, the agreements start appearing. Now I will make the payment method a select list and add some default options like cash, bank, check and online. I will also add some default country currencies in the currency field. And if needed, you can maintain them separately in a dedicated table.
I want the agreement amount to appear automatically in the payment amount field when an agreement no is selected. For that, I am creating a dynamic action. Here you are fetching the grand total from the PM underscore agar underscore MST table based on the selected agreement no P22 underscore agreement underscore no. This value will be used to automatically fill the payment amount field. We can see that when the agreement no is selected, the payment amount automatically appears.